and welcome to another episode of Foo Bar. In today's video, we are going to build a small React app using AppSync. If you're interested to watch more content about serverless, cloud computing, or software engineer practices in general, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post video every Tuesday. So let's get started. <laughs> This is the last episode on the series of AppSync. In the first one, we be learn what the basics of GraphQL. In the second one, we learn the basics of AppSync. In the third one, we build a backend fully with code with AppSync and serverless framework. And in this last episode, we are going to use that backend that we built and show the data in a React app using AWS Amplify SDK from Amazon. I leave you the playlist here, so if you have not watched the three first episodes, you might be interested and check them out. So now let's go to the code and get started. So we are going to start by going to the code that we built a couple of videos ago when I was creating the web for Cognito. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave you the link in the card and in the description box on how we make this. So we are going to the Git repo and we are cloning that. I will clone it with a different name because I already have that. So we'll call web client app sync and we can then go into that project. And now we are going to modify the code to get our things started. The first thing we are going to do is to create the config.js and modify the config sample because now we are not using API Gateway, we are going to use AppSync, so the config sample should look something like this. We are just going to create the config file with all our real configuration. Remember that the code that you find in GitHub doesn't have the config file, you need to create it yourself, you will find the config sample. For that, we are going to find the Cognito information and we are going to our AWS account to the user pool we just created in the backend video and we put the user pool there and the region and then we find the client id for the user pool and then the federated identity pool id all these we have created in the previous video if you don't know what i'm talking about i leave you the link on the card so you can go and check it out so now we have our cognito configured then we go in our aws Account to AppSync, and then we go to the service uh, to the AppSync we just created in the previous video, and we copy the URL, and we put it there. And the region we can find it in the URL, and the authentication type we leave it like that: Amazon Cognito User Pools, because that's what we have set up. Now we have to go to our index.js and modify our Amplify configuration. We remove the API for the API Gateway and we add the information for the AppSync. So we are basically configuring the AppSync endpoint region and authentication type, and we are configuring that. Now we are going to modify our home page. If you remember, then you have this basic page that is just showing some message. In the Cognito video, what we were doing is just calling one API that needed an authentication and when we are in this home page it shows if we are authenticated. Now what we want to show is calling the GraphQL. So if you remember from the backend video when we created the schema we just basically have a hello world query and that will return hello world. So we need to create a call to that API and we are going to do that and for that we are going to write the query using the library GraphQL from Amplify. That's pretty straightforward. If you have more complex GraphQL operations that might require another video, if you're interested, let me know in the comment box and we can do more complex queries. And then we are just going to render the right message and it's as easy as installing this application and then starting it up. So when we are starting this application, then we can open it in the browser and we can see that when we are logged in, we have the right call to the GraphQL. And when we are not logged in to the, to the user pool, then we are not seeing anything. So it's very, very simple. So I will speed this up, the installation, so we can go to the browser. npm install and then npm start to start the browser. Then we do login. 
we have created the user in the backend video so we are using that user if you don't remember your username and password well you may need to create a new user but you can find the username in usernames and groups and just login in with it and it should work and after you log in we can see that the GraphQL in the console in the network console is being called and it takes a little while because my uh, internet connection is horrible. I'm in Varsov now and it's just horrible internet connection and it takes a little while and the hello world appears and then we can see that we have two GraphQL calls, one options and one post and if we go to the post in the network console we can see that the the authorization is there and then the query is the one we sent and that's great that's what we want so very very simple and you can find the code as always in github i leave the, the link in the description box for this code this was the episode for today i hope you like it this was the whole series on AppSync until now but if you have anything you would love to see just let me know in the comment box below i can make another episode if people are interested in learning more about AppSync. If you have any questions, comments or whatever about the video, just also let me know in the comment box below. And around here there are other videos from my channel for you to watch, so go ahead and click in those videos to watch something else. And if not, I see you in the next episode of FUBAR. Ciao!